Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our final CCA League match uh, for tonight. I am Ethan, or Nax Ethan, you can just call me Ethan, and I'm here with my co-host. You want to introduce yourself? Sure thing. Uh, I am SPF Dark, but you can just call me Dark for short. Uh, and we're really excited to get into this next match, or this final match, I should say, for the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this one uh, is setting up to be a really exciting one in particular. We got uh, UCSD Esports Gold versus VCU Inc. Black. And the, both of these teams so far have had a really interesting history in both the CCA and other recent tournaments. Uh, and this one is really looking like it could go a lot of different interesting directions. So we're excited for this one. Yeah, um, in terms of, as of right now, UCSD uh, Esports Gold, they seem to have like the... Uh, the edge in sort of uh, skill and technical level, it's considering they they in in one of the past results they've placed in dip one for Ludi as well as they got overall fourth overall in the entrance exam. But and that's meanwhile, not div one for Ludi. <laughs> no, not div one for Ludi. Div four for Ludi. Did I say div one? Mm -hmm. That's oh. div div one for CCA though. Div one for CCA. But we are for we are going to get started with it though. Sure we're going to get. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get right into this one uh, first with uh, zones on Hagglefish. So let's see what we got going here. All right, we see a few new weapons from the latest patch, which is always exciting. On mm. no, on just mm. only on one side of them. Yeah, yeah only, only on one new, side. Uh, yeah, we got the 96 and the ZNF on one side, but the others uh, gonna be going with uh, weapons that have been around for a minute. Uh, though, uh, we're doing this one on Hagglefish, though. Sightline destroyed with that pole, with that pole in the middle there, but I'm gonna get a good view of the DNF right here. Yeah, it looks like, um, one side of the team is, gonna, is going to have more, like, rush-style kind of uh, comp, with the, both the Junior and the T-Tech and the Carbon, which will really be hyper-aggressive, while the other side is gonna have a more paint-heavy, like, more passive play from both the Kings, kind of, uh, style comp with 96, the Viper and the T-Tech. Yep. And already getting down uh, some points uh, on the side of UCSD Esports, but uh, going to be quickly taken back, and it looks like we might see a little bit of a shift here. Uh, but we got only we got a little bit of a going on right now. Uh, but there's going to be the lead loss. Yep, there's lead, and UCSD is going to get Mike is fighting for flip, and they managed to flip it. But this carbon roller is going in really aggressive, gets one pick, and trying to go for the other against the wiper, it gets another pick. And they're just going to go on and start pushing, pushing. If UC, UCD pushes up on this, they get that they get that 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 tempo going in their favor. They might have ha got back held back a bit in the beginning, but they're definitely start, starting to swing things in their favor. And that's why CD Wumi is a carbon one trick. It looks like for sure. And right now, it seems to be VCU is seems, seems to be stuck in their platform. They're struggling to get out against this hyper aggressive pump style that uh, UCSD is, is running. And, and this sort of more defensive style is not really working in, in their favor, you know? If you're too busy getting pushed back into your own corner, you can't really, you have nowhere else to go to defend. Yeah, no, we're getting, we're taking that timer down at 10 seconds. I'm not sure if uh, this is going to Oh, wait! Oh, it ended up flip! It ended up flip! Okay, there's the flip. Here we go. But there's two down on the side of VCU right now. Uh, so it looks like the zone might be recapped, and there's a little bit of a... There's a big penalty on there now, but uh, once that penalty gets down there, it's going to be only at six. So let's we'll see if VCU can bring this one back, but it might be a tough one for them. Yeah, 60 point penalty on the on the side of UCSD, and right now, looks like uh, VCU is trying to to figure out how to break this sort of um, this, this, this wall that of aggression that UCSD has built. And it doesn't seem to be working out in their favor as of right now. Not able to get that pick with, on the C Junior there. And they're just going to be holding on to that zone. That penalty is only at 10 seconds right now. They're really going to have to make it quick. They're, really they're going to try the in strike on that. But, oh, the timer's they're stopping again. Mm, they got one down on the side of BCU though. And that's a retake. I'm not, yep, yeah, that looks like it's probably going to be it. BCU's two down with, yep, that is that is game one in favor of UCSD. Of Mm hmm Yeah, no, that was that there was it looked like for a minute like VCU might be able to bring that one back for a second, but that was just a hard defense to break through, especially on zone tagglefish, it can really be like that. Uh but both of these teams both have a lot to bring to the table and we we have a lot more game to see right now. Yeah, um I will say I I definitely thought VCU would be, would have been able to hold that much longer than they actually did, considering some of the weapons that they're playing against um UCSD, but it seems like the, the, that carbon, their carbon roller really knows how to play against, play the terrain and play against certain weapon matchups in their favor, causing them those for early picks, 
causing them to sort of snowball that massive point lead in their favor, mm-hmm. which VCU just couldn't, wasn't able to recover from it. For sure, yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to Tower Control on Sturgeon Shipyard, and I'm very curious to see uh, if we might see any more uh, new weapons from the recent update on some alternate modes here, or if they're just going to stick with what they know, because you could go uh, a couple ways on this. Like, you want to see how you might be able to use... Uh, all this new stuff that you have available to you in a tournament or league setting, but also you want to go with what you know. And uh, VCU especially is uh, playing, uh, both teams are, are playing uh, against a foe that uh, they definitely can't just brush off here. So um, it's got to be uh, an interesting uh, conversation going on with those VCs right now. But <laughs> Yes, I will say, um, Sturgeon Shipyard, not really known for <laughs> that many flank lines, um, or safe flank lines, I should say. So that that carbon that carbon roller might have a few issues trying to get in to get a few like um, flank kills or flank splats and whatnot. But well, it really depends on what the the what VCU is going to be playing if they can try and take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to be getting into this game here. So let's see what we got. We are starting game two here. Now let's see what we have here. It seems. We have a tri slasher. Is it the nouveau? Is the tri slasher and same? All right, but All right. Uh, so yeah, same comp on the side of on the side of. Uh, oh, sorry, no, the colors got switched there. That was um, that was UCSD. Okay. Yes, UCSD has the same comp. Meanwhile, VCU man brings out the tri slasher, another uh, tri slasher nouveau, one of the new another new weapon from the latest patch and. We'll see how well this works into their, mm-hmm. into their comp right now. Oh, that's going to be two, two down on the side of UCSD already. And the 96 is going to be trying to push that E-Leader back and get the team a little bit of a way in on that tower. Uh, that's a pretty quick entry, uh, entry for uh, VCU right there. This is this might already be like, quite an interesting game. That Kraken already going to be coming out too. Uh, that thing is wow, being real <laughs> on a mission with that. Oh, oh and here comes the counter pick. Uh, can this roller get disrupt the enemy team enough to get... A, let their own team get their footing back. Well, we're de- they're definitely going to be uh, retaking mid right there. Only VCU only able to get uh, that tower to uh, to uh, 76 points right there. So not uh, not too big of a push happening yet. Um, and now two two down on the side of VCU. UCSD is looking to make this a big push and already has lead. Pass checkpoint one already, and VCU is going to have to going to have to put a stop to this push right now. Yes, and it's it's almost the same story as the last game. You know, VCU man- managed to get a good like a, a, a sizable early lead. But UCSD is managing to just swing back, hitting ten times harder, getting the te- check the tower all the way back to the to the second checkpoint on their first push, which is really yeah, which really goes to show like how well they're really just pushing back. Yep, yep. But now they have two down on that side now. But we're gonna have we're gonna see some jumps coming into to uh, goat goat child. Uh, the e leader right there. Oh, but that carbon roll is going to be stopped, but running right into that screw of three right there. Interesting. But um, now we're going to see that uh, VCU kind of trying to reset here, and they're going to try and see if they can get a foothold so they can go for another push here, because UCSD has it at 31, and they're going to have to uh, make a push. Uh, they got three minutes left in the game, so they got some time still. Uh, but last game really showed that they can't, they really can't wait around with UCSD. Yeah. yeah, even though they have time in their favor with how aggressive uh, UCSD is playing, is that might be their detriment, you know, letting UCSD and VCU, UCSD letting USCD, USCD, USCD getting the, their specials online, which goes to show right now with that try strike, they managed to get enough, to get, the, get the area covered enough for them to get a push going, get a push started. Yeah, yeah, no, they're they're looking for uh, UCSC is looking for another push there. They had 31, but they're hungry for more. And uh, yeah, VCU's gonna VCU's going to what are they situated right now? Still push back on their plat and everything, and they already got their 96 down, which is gonna be good right now, especially defending. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a trade on the side there while people members of VCU come back in, but they're sitting on that checkpoint too now, and they're pushing that lead further. Uh, 29 points now on the side of UCSD, but they have three down now. Let's see if VCU can reset this. Here and at least retake mid, but they're gonna have to really move for this. We only got two minutes left. Yes, with three down, just going down now, VCU needs to go up, needs to get paid, needs to take cover or take uh, area, take their area back because if they allow even just one of their players to come come in through a previous painted area, previous, previously painted areas, 
that carbon roller is surely being the main suspect for that is definitely going to cause a problem like right now getting getting a pick off that t tag and oh. that elio jumping out and getting that that bucket out and just like that their push was just halted as before they could even get a good enough footing yeah, CD Woomy, there's only gonna be only playing uh, only playing carbon roller ever it seems, but they make it work seemingly. Uh, they're they're a beast with that thing. Um, and there's here we go. CSD is gonna have control of mid again. This is really struggling to get a foothold here. They were able to pull the CSD back, but they, but they weren't able to capitalize on it at all. It just seems like a lot of fights are being lost and not uh, they're not able to to move in like they really need to be right now. We're, we got less than a minute left in the game, so they got to make something happen. Yes, with 45 seconds remaining on that clock, they, they really need to start worrying of getting into the, the positions that they need to be. I'm noticing that this is, it's hard to tell right now, but it doesn't seem like they're taking the fights that need to be together. Um, BCU is, is in anyway, and because of that, the carbon roller is able to just take advantage of those low players and get those picks and, and just sort of snowball it into their advantage, causing them to causing this year to be held back even more than they probably should be. Mm -hmm. And now we only got 15 seconds left on the timer. Reese is trying for a trying for a push right now because they just got it. They got to make Ooh. some... Oh, but that that's going to be three down. And that's that a wipe! Oh my god. <laughs> we got a wipe out right there. The BCU wanted to make something happen at the end there, but UCSD said, nah, uh we're finishing this out. We're closing this out right now. So that's going to be another game on the side of UCSD. And that carbon roller is really cleaning up. VCU needs to try and figure out a way to properly handle that that carbon roller because if they if they they've been leaving it unchecked and they can't really contest it and because of that it's just sort of slow, snowballing against them. They need to come up with a plan to try and figure out what to do, or else it's the set's pretty much going to be lost mm -hmm. from for them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, VCU is coming up uh, from the previous season in CCA here from uh, from Div Four, right? So they're they're on the they're on the rise in here. But uh, UCSD was already in Div One last season. They're they're experienced in these parts. They know that they know the way around. They know they know this turf as it were. Um, so uh, VCU really coming out here trying to prove themselves and stuff, right? Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put them out just yet because they they've really been uh, lately in tournaments and stuff really been uh, and little squiddly low, low ink and everything they've been uh, really on the on the up and up so um, let's see if let's see if they can turn things around here but they're really gonna have to come up with a plan to address uh, to address what UCSD's got going here otherwise um, they, they might they might be out of it. Yes, yeah, so they that, that like I said earlier, that carbon roller is definitely going to be the, the biggest issue. One thing they might want to try and consider is running more longer range weapons. Because if I remember correctly, they're running a junior and a, and a T tech, which runs the risk of the carbon roller getting just close enough to get that instant um, horizontal slash a uh, splat on them. So that might be something that they want to try and like at least. If it's not change the range of the weapons, then just make sure they keep everything very well painted. Because as long as you deny the carbon turf, they can't really push up against you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. And they've they've had uh, they've had okay painting power on their side so far. Um, but I think, but it seems like maybe they're still getting the hang of some of those weapons. Really, they're going for that ninety six. They've been going for that ninety six deco, uh, which is definitely a strong weapon already. Um, but maybe getting accustomed to that thing still. Uh, it is, but... it is, yeah, it is the age-old question of do you stick with something you know or do you want to try something new and try and blindside your opponents with it? Mm -hmm. Oh, but now we're going to be seeing the blaster coming out on the side of VCU here. So they are, they are switching things up a bit and also a try, opting for the try Zuka uh, with the standard splatter shot right there. Uh, yeah, the, the standard uh, V shot is not something we see much nowadays. Pretty much getting overshadowed by the the fancier, more beloved uh, T Tech splatter shot. But right now, it looks like they're, they're right now it looks like they're trying to fight for pop DCU, and it looks like UCD saw recognized that they weren't probably gonna win it, and so they decided to back off and just let VCU take it and try and hold their checkpoint. Uh -huh. Yeah, we already got some aggression on the side of uh, with the with the shot right here. Ooh, gonna get a pick on that e leader. That's a really good pick to get right now. Uh, pushing up, e is pretty aggressive. This right here. Ooh, and another one. And that comes down. 
Oh, and Carbon's down. Oh, but two gonna go down on the side of DC on that fight up there. They were pushed up really far. Doesn't look like they're gonna be, eh, they might be able to sneak in. Uh, yeah, no, they're not gonna be able to get that check. Oh, they get the or checkpoint! Not, or up. Uh, yeah, I spoke too soon. All right. <laughs> But they got two down right now, and it looks like ECSD is probably going to be able to take that mid and go for the checkpoint on on the on the other side right here. So uh, DC went for that early push, but they weren't quite able to make it happen, and now they're on the defending side once again. And once again, it, 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 here comes the, the the sort of determining factor, like how this game is going to shape out. Once again, VCU gets the first lead, gets the one is the one that breaks the checkpoint first, but now. You see, SD is starting to starting to swing back a bit. They're starting to hit a bit harder. Are they going to be able to get it further up, or are they, or is DC going to be able to plant their feet and just stop DCD right where they're standing on this map? Mm -hmm. They got to make a stand right now because uh, Hammerhead, Hammerhead Rainmaker things can go things can happen real fast after that first checkpoint. Gotta see. Oh, that's two. two. That's down. two down. That's two down. Oh, that's three, three down. down. They need oh, to go. They, got, they need to go. They, they gotta go. They gotta go. Move, move, move. Take that mid right now, man. Yep, uh, either are gonna be grab, gonna be picking up that, that Rainmaker, and let's see. And they, and UCSD doesn't even have that big of a lead on them right now. Oh, and the oh, Carbon this, Roller this, this goes down. Oh, this be their chance. This is it. This is the one. You gotta run in, man. There we go. Okay, Rainmaker's gonna get another pick. Oh, that two leader watching. And that's gonna be a lead for ECU. They are at 40 points right now, and they're really looking at that goal. Oh, two down on UCSD. Two so are Can that be the knockout? And that's the knockout! And that's why we were saying that this was going to be an interesting set, folks. VCU said we are not going down without a fight. We're going to put our foot, we're going to put our feet down, and we're going to make something happy tonight. Happen tonight. And just like that, they learned what they need to do. Once that carbon roller was out of the uh, was out of the equation, they were able to go in and push and take the cover they need to, all while may not just getting that lead, but getting that knockout from just their second push. That was really impressive. Mm hmm And now going on from that, we're gonna be moving into what's the next one here? Oh no, I don't have it pulled up. Uh well it's Rainmaker. Uh, oh, this is the uh Clam Scorch game, isn't it? So this this should be this should be interesting here. So VCU was able to was able to address the carbon and honestly the E leader as well a lot better that game. I, I have a feeling they went for that um they went for that uh shot with the with the Zuka um to partially to be mm -hmm. able to address that, right? Um and you know, I gotta say, uh, I find it really, uh, I really love watching uh, CCA and everything because there's, a, you see a lot more unconventional, is that a word, unconventionality? Yeah, unconventionality. Yeah, unconventionality. Yeah, yeah. In terms of comps and stuff, uh, we haven't, we have not seen a splash of in this set yet. Uh, oh, but also, <laughs> also worth considering uh, <laughs> the era, the era of uh, of of, uh, of crab is over. We're in the we're in the kraken we're in the kraken era now. Um, maybe, uh, maybe we are, maybe we are. It is yeah. still three days since patch, so yeah, I, I think it's a bit too soon to say yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm but... exaggerating, obviously, because it's funny to say, but... <laughs> um, the the age-old giant squid versus crab, mm -hmm. you know? You tell us all this time. Uh-huh. All right. But right so... now, the, the my, my question is, was the advantage from... Uh, from was the advantage from VCU because of the map or because of the comp, what's it called, changes that they made up to sort of better suit against against UCSD? Because Hammerhead, I think we can all agree and say that it's not necessarily the best map, you know, with how like na narrow and sort of tight you it is. You could say but, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you could say that. So That's one question, way to put it. <laughs> the question is, was it is it because of the map or is it because of the comp changes? And I think with Scorch Gorge, I don't know. Another one that's maybe not so beloved as either. It's, it's got its fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, the Scorch Gorge, the the Scorch Gorge fandom is dying. Everyone, retweet if you're a true gorger. Yeah, right. gorgers unite. <laughs> um, but this will be definitely their their chance to prove if the that their their win last round was because of the weapons and not because of the map. Yeah, not just a fluke here. All right. Gonna get into game four right here, and let's see what we got. Oh, they kept the blaster. Mm -hmm. I'm always yeah. bought myself some blasters. Same thing. They're going with the, some both teams going oh, with the same compromise. They brought up the, the new ZF charger. Mm, yeah, they had that the first game, I believe, but um, they're gonna be they're gonna be pulling that one out again. Uh, probably just for a little bit more aggression here um, than they would get with the E leader. But uh, we're, gonna see, we're gonna see this first fight over mid right now. Um, 
And, oh, there's gonna be a car. <laughs> there it is! Oh! Oh, oh they, they took him out fast, though. He was going for, he was going for that sneakiness, but they're getting wise. They're getting wise to that carbon. They're, they're watching out, they're watching out for them now. Yeah, they're realizing that, the, like I said, the carbon's really main goal is to try and use unattended ink to try and sneak up behind them and get those sneaky kills. And they're really pinning up a bit more, a bit better now. And because of that, that carbon can't really push in to get those kills if all of them are well within their own ink. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the you are getting a clean shot right there across the map. Um, and gonna get going up for that top mid now. We're gonna see if UCSD is kinda looking to make something happen here. They got they got their charger down on their side. If you are putting some pressure and backing them up a little bit, these tries to get coming out and one's gonna go down. This might be UCSD's chance here. Yes, for sure. This this will probably be the first time in the set that UC, UCSD is gonna be able to get their first lead, but with two down on this push, can they break it open? With they're gonna break it open, but they might go down pretty fast. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to get an entry in there. Yeah, no, VC pushing back here. That looks like it's gonna be the classic uh, one power clam in uh, first clam uh, So <laughs> the one we're all too familiar with. Yeah, hit, hit him with the hit him with the clam blitz special. Uh, but <laughs> but now VC is still gonna have oh! <laughs> out of nowhere. The carbon gets two picks and. This will be the UCSD's chance to try and get that, that lead again, try to get that Clams open, and they get it open! Yeah, they're gonna get that one open. Just a bad and they... Oh, it closed oh. just before they could throw it in. That's oh, very God. unfortunate. That's a clam boots moment right there, but yeah, now there's gonna be two, two down. down. BCSD, that BC is really gonna have to paint up now because what happened just then? That carbon got in because uh, they did because they were have there was a lot of orange paint on that map and they were able to get right back up there. And start to push. Up, there's gonna be a trice. Ooh, a trice with a fight coming out right now. And that's two. Oh. Okay, they need to go in there. Clean. Yeah, y'all gotta move in there right now. Uh, yeah, and they're certainly gonna try and make that happen. Yeah, come out the patient, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let him cook. That that bubbler coming out, really good pop right there. Gonna get it in. Oh, this might they be have the clam. Take oh, lead all the way down to 45. That was dang. That those points just just dropped, man. But now there's three down inside of UCU. They got some good points in there, but at the cost of three of their team members. And man, UCSD is right on the ball with that push, pushing up, pushing right up and ready to retake map. Yes, I will say UCSD is very much better in terms of getting map control because once they win the team base, you see them go in, you see them paint as they go, and you see them take the map control very quickly. In terms of well, VCU, they don't, they they struggle to take that map control. Sometimes they push up, but they don't, they leave paint untended, which causes them that carbon roar to come in behind them and get those picks that it needs. Now we got some ink strikes coming out on the side of UCSD. Uh, they're looking to make their entryway right now. They're ooh, kind of rushing in a little bit there. Seemed a little desperate to get something in. Uh, now there's two down on the side of UCSD. If I was VCU, I would be pushing up into mid real hard right now to try and retake that. But they're kind of taking their time right now. They got they they probably want to move in to secure their spot a little bit. But uh, they're still just going to be on the map. Considering that they considering <laughs> you know what. We all get it. It's <laughs> interchangeable terms at this point. So, you know, seven years in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 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 Uh, so we're going to see. Oh, okay. You see oh. coming up. Ooh, that's another strike right there. They're being mad aggressive and going for the. Yeah, three down! Yeah, smart move. Oh, man. Looks like it might be a lead turn. Ah, and there's going to be the lead going to UCSD. They, they took their time and they were smart about their specials. Got those kills first and they were able to capitalize on it appropriately. But it's only by one clam. So if VCU can get another push going here, they might be able to turn it around again. But they really got to get that map control. We got we got special. We got one special ready. There's a Zuka. They're coming out on the side of VCU. Uh, not really able to get too many picks off of that. And let's, let's see if they can make something happen. But it's got to be fast. Yes, there's currently 20 seconds on the clock right now. They end with one power plant secured. They'll mean additional 20 more seconds with overtime. So they really don't have a lot of time to work with. They really need to make sure they get those picks they need. That carbon roller is just spawning in right now, so they have the opening without that aggressive. But this, the C Junior goes down. Oh, going down, but so does it. so does the C Junior on the other side here. They're looking, they're looking even with three, uh, three, three here. We got a strike ready. The carbon. Right Oh, the carbon! Oh, oh and there goes the CNF. Ah, oh, that's not looking good for DCU. That is down right there, and that's gonna go. The delayed wipe. Yeah, and that's. 
Yeah, that's going to be it. it right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. We're looking at a 3-1 situation right here. VCU came, came back a little bit with that hammerhead game, but they're really going to they're really gonna have to focus now and and, and figure things out uh, because, ooh, man, last uh, match point right here. Yeah, I will say VCU definitely has the potential to try and take it back, considering the fact that the 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 three the first two losses were were due to knockouts. This one was a one or two one two what's it called clam difference. So they they, they really brought it back th these last two games to try and swing it in their favor. And coming up next is Flounder Heights on uh, uh, Tower the mode. Tower on yeah, Tower yeah, on Flounder tower. Heights. So. Ooh, uh, uh, this one's a very fl flank heavy uh, map, so that carbon roller might be able to. Or is it actually zones, Brian? I don't know my maps. Oh, right, that's the one after. Right, right. Our I bad, our bad. I was getting too excited for Flounder Heights, I'm gonna yeah. be honest. I, I, really, I really like Flounder Heights, you know? But, mm -hmm. um, oh, okay, so yeah, um, that zone's on Brian Water. I, 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 I think this VCU can definitely try and swing this in their favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now this one, I, I feel like. Brian Water, the, the the way this map is set up, I feel like they might uh, VCU their their play style and, and the weapons they have available. They might uh, they might be able to uh, they might be able to take this one. But I mean, it could really go either way at this point. Uh, both of these teams have shown have shown that they really are able to um, uh, they're they're really able to pull off some crazy stuff. Uh, but uh, remains to be seen, really. But is that? Oh, okay. We'll see. Brian Waters is known for its very small zone, so even if uh, UCSD doesn't have too much painting power, it won't be too much of an issue considering the size of the zone. So even with VCU's very more like paint um, favored um, comp, it can honestly just really flip easily with some of the, depending on the specials that they bring in. A good two well-timed tri strikes just flips it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, and also. And also a good charger on on Brine Water zones, man. You don't uh, a good charger, good backline in general. If you if if you got them on that perch and you don't deal with them, then oh. it's over, man. <laughs> do, you, do you think we'll see the double E leader here? Ooh, that well, you, I don't know. well, we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> we'll find out here in just a second, won't we? <laughs> Oh, right. no. Nope. <laughs> oh, at T Tech and a standard splatter shot. Okay, okay, I see you. All right. <laughs> they're going for that real paint heavy one this time. Yeah, they definitely have paint in their favor with the junior and the tri strikes with the, the V shot being able to, to counter their enemy uh, E leader. They're, they're definitely trying to yeah. build a round of countering, uh, fighting back using your speed right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and you see this they made a they made a real quick push in there. What? We're gonna see a tri strike coming out of the PCU. Oh man, double fighting tri strikes right now. And there's a there's gonna there's a real fight from zone happening right now, y'all. And it flips in terms in favor for UCSD, but they're two down the C juniors just barely spawning in. VCU needs to come in and paint, but that carbon roller is once again causing them issues. They're trapping them on their ramp. They can't seem to just get past that carbon roller thing in order to get that cap. And now UCSD is just running in, running away with these points right now. And uh, Wo uh, Wumi with that carbon is a constant thorn in the side and two down again, and that timer is still a ticking, man. That that's prime water zone, man. They can lock that thing, and they can lock that in, and is just having a hard entry point. I feel like this has been a, a consistent theme of uh, UCSD locking something down, and BC just having a hard time being able to get back in there. Uh, but nice play. Oh, oh that, and that carbon's carbon. down. Carbon's gonna go down. We're gonna see. Oh, uh, and, oh, try strike coming out on the side of VCU. Uh, maybe let's see if we can go. Okay, That's three nice. down. They got gotta it. Take out that they need to push up that ramp. Right there. Yeah, pushing up. You're very good move with that aggression. Oh, but the first bump of the carbon gonna take him down right there. Oh man, right now it seems it is a very back. It could really honestly go in anyone's favor at this point. Even though UCSD had that big lead in their favor, VCU can fight back. They have the tools. They can. But with three down. They can't, they can't hold it for long, and, and now it is now taking back into UCSD's favor. It's gonna go back to UCSD there, and this this zone is going back and forth, man. It can't make up its mind. Uh, but and now once again, UCSD is gonna is gonna really push back. Oh, and two down on UCSD already, man. They're having a they're just having a rough go of it getting into these zones. Man. Oh yeah, that carbon really really knows how to lock them down, and because of that, they, 
these points. We uh, might be able to try and uh, flip with this tri strike. Oh, but what a shot with the E leader! Oh, saw his opportunity and took it right there. That's what oh, was that another E leader shot? Dang. Yeah, no, timer's sitting at 10, and this looks like it, it might be it, man. But oh, maybe. It is a slow zone! Hold, 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 hold. No! Oh, uh, oh, 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 wait! Wait a minute, no! No, uh, not gonna happen. Oh, that was such a good, good attempt that, from that VCU. Was. Mm -hmm. but that, that was a good carbon, game. Yeah, that carbon roller just put in the work against them. Mm -hmm. But not to undersell the work of the rest of UCSD too, though, because uh, Elite are really keeping it locked down. Uh, everybody really knowing uh, when to push up and everything. Great mm -hmm. paint work mm -hmm. from the other, uh, from everybody else. Saw a lot of mean torpedoes coming out on that side too, uh, from the C Junior. So everybody really coming together uh, for a great effort, and you can see why uh, they've done so well in CCA in the past there. Uh, yes. But also really great effort from VCU, uh, first time in in Division One here, and they're looking to make a name for themselves over here. So, it wasn't a 4-0. Uh, it wasn't a 4-0. Yeah. No 4-0s. <laughs> <laughs> no 4-0s. You got to be proud of that. No, no 4-0s. No, uh, uh. But uh, yeah, no, that's gonna that's gonna do it, and Seth's gonna go to UCSD. So, uh, looks like we're gonna wrap up here. So, I guess um, we'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a outro in a second. I, I know. So, but yeah, those were very, very, very close games. VCU definitely ha almost had that 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 last game, but that. That common roller just really, really, mm -hmm. really yeah. made them struggle. Clean, clean shots from E Leader, too. <laughs> yeah, that, the E Leader had great shots. The carbon was just playing very aggressively and work, ended up working in their favor. And everyone else was just making sure everything was keeping everything nice and painted for that carbon roller. And it, they are a very well oiled machine mm -hmm. of UCSD. Or a well oiled machine, you might say. Okay, gotcha. we're holding. All right. No, dude. In hold, the meantime, hold. <laughs> that'd um, be fun. I wanna, I wanna see more games. <laughs> I wanna see Brian. I wanna see Thunder Heights. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Thunder Heights is. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> it has been, <laughs> it has been too long. I missed you. Uh, oh, I all see. right. Well, I guess that is it then with the four hundred one in UCSC. USC, UCSD's favor. I didn't say that wrong that entire time. <laughs> that one's giving you trouble tonight. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So uh, thanks for popping by, everybody. Uh, that's going to do it for us for tonight. Uh, we've been your, uh, been your commentators here. Um, I guess, quick plug. I'm Ethan. You can find me on Twitter at NaxEthan uh, or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash NaxEthan. Uh, go ahead, Dark. <laughs> and yeah, and I am Dark. I'm... Um, you can find me on Twitter on SPF Dark. I don't post much, but it is there if you want to ever just want to pop by and see what's happening. I post a lot of clips, two clips, but that's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> and then on Twitch, you can find me at SPF Dark as well. Um, I'm I'm trying to be more active, but it is yeah. oh, still a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna sign off here. But um, thanks everyone, and we'll see you around. Mm -hmm. It was very fun, a very fun <laughs> set tonight. All right, bye-bye.